there's sometimes they say it's uh, better to um, travel than to arrive but uh, if you're going through Welney at the moment uh, the only thing that really you can actually do safely is what I've just done or I'm just doing is going for a paddle along 11 or 1 and this morning I've been joined by some local people who've had a paddle with their dogs and there are quite a few uh, swans in the distance but the real story really uh, if you can see it on the on the camera there is that car that is submerged uh, just a few yards away from us where we're taking this particular uh, piece of film this morning and you know one has to question what's become of the campaign to raise the level of this road and I was covering at 19 or was it 2016 when uh, Liz Truss called a flood summit she's our local MP she was the environment secretary she's moved on to the Treasury now and they were talking about the, the costs of, of actually doing something to raise the level of road. And they were looking at £5 million. Pounds. Well, it's only yesterday we were reporting on the fact that at Ely, they're talking about a £13 million pounds overspend on a uh, the, the bypass there. And, it, and that level of extra expenditure this morning on the local radio, all I'm hearing is Mayor James Palmer shrugging his shoulders and, and saying, well, you know, it's it's going to be worth it in the end and everybody else was blaming everybody else for it. But the fact is we can afford infrastructure uh, improvements to some of the bigger areas around Fenland, but for some reason this particular stretch, the 1101, maybe because it's on the border of Cambridgeshire and Norfolk, I don't know, and it's forgotten, but somehow we have forgotten the fact that this road causes immense problems to me personally to get to work, but for lots of people who live over there, which is in Welney, and the rest of Welney over there, and it's time something surely was done about it.